January 21st will mark the one-year anniversary Joanna Brooks went overboard a Carnival cruise ship. And now, one year later, the Lafayette woman's family is still searching for answers as to exactly what happened and why they still don't know. In a story you'll see only on 10, we hear from the FBI and a legal expert to find out why. We really don't know anything yet. All I know is that they said she fell overboard. That was Marilyn Winfrey one year ago, shortly after learning her daughter, Joanna Brooks, went overboard a Carnival cruise ship bound for Mexico. The cruise was a gift from Joanna's husband, Scott Brooks. Witnesses have said the couple was arguing at dinner and escorted out. 30 minutes later, Joanna went overboard. Scott was detained and questioned. He returned home and has not talked with Joanna's family about what happened. One way or the other, I want her to come home. Winfrey didn't get any answers then, and she doesn't have much more now. Both women were too distraught to interview on this solemn anniversary. This was their first Christmas without Joanna. However, both are still in a desperate search for answers. Personal injury and criminal defense attorney Donovan Hudson knows what it takes to get answers. He says there are several reasons why Winfrey can't find resolution, primarily because Carnival Cruise Lines is based out of Florida. I have my corporate headquarters there. It's much easier for me to have my attorneys and all the paperwork and everything else in one place. If I have cruises all over the world, Alaska, California, New Orleans, New York, uh, and I have to start disseminating that information all over the country, it's much more costly for them too. Hudson says now is the time to push harder. Our process is an adversarial process. It doesn't mean that you're enemies. It means that if you want your rights to be enforced, you have to act to enforce them. So don't hesitate to get in touch with an attorney as quickly as possible so that you can preserve your rights and make sure that if there's an opportunity for answers to be had, if you wait too long, those things go away legally and memories get fuzzy. You don't want that to happen. In the meantime, Winfrey pushes on in her search and Hudson was able to help. I was happy to help her make a connection with someone in South Florida. And uh, my understanding is that she's begun to at least uh, talk to somebody and see if she can get some answers. So, Darla, some pretty good advice from the attorney there as to why they're still without answers. What is the FBI saying about this case? Rob, we have been in touch, as you know, with the FBI since Joanna went missing to keep updated on the investigation. We talked to the FBI today to find out the latest and why Winfrey and her family don't have answers. The FBI New Orleans field office released the statement you see on your screen. They released it this afternoon, too, as saying, as a matter of respect, quote, to the family of Joanna Brooks, we are unable to provide comment at this time, end quote. So a year has gone by. What happens now? Rob, as we said, Joanna's mother was too distraught to talk to us on this solemn anniversary. She didn't want to talk right now, but she did invite us to contact her in the very near future to find out what, if any, conclusion has been reached in the FBI's investigation. And it is important to note that Scott Brooks was never named as a suspect or charged in Joanna's disappearance.